Hi everyone, it's Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic. I thought today I would do a demonstration on a little utility called Drive Sort, uh, which helps you out if you're a Padawan 360 or other Padawan variant to get your sounds working correctly on your astromech or whichever other droid you're building. The Sparkfun MP3 player has, uh, and, and this is a common thing with other serial MP3 players, has a feature whereby it doesn't really care about the name of the files uh, more so, it actually cares about the order in which those files were written to your micro SD card. Uh, now, unfortunately, this is something that uh, there's not really an awful lot you can do about other than to um, fix the order in which the files are written to the card. Now, fortunately, as I say, there is a utility for that, and it's called Drive Sort. Now, there's two ways to actually accomplish this. If you've got a bunch of sounds, uh, let me just uh, grab these ones over here. Now, if I just clicked and dragged those over onto my SD card, what actually happens is they get written onto the card in a sort of pseudo random order. It's just whichever order the PC decided to sort of pick them up and stick them in because you've told them, told it to do them all at once. So that unfortunately by the MP3 player in your droid will get picked up in a similar sort of random order. So you you will not be able to control which file is which, despite the fact that they've all got a file name and despite the fact that they've got a date modified flag, uh, that is completely irrelevant in terms of what the MP3 player is expecting. So I'm just going to delete those for the moment. Now, the um, the the easy or sorry, not the, the not easy way of doing it um, is to actually copy those files one by one. Now, as you can imagine, that's uh, laborious and it is also open to mistakes. So if, for example, I uh, clicked by mistake and I copied 10 next, that's it. My order is gone. So I can't recover that now. Um, not easily anyway. If I hadn't spotted that and I carried on with 11, 12, 13, uh, if I came back and then I tried to do number nine, for example, uh, number nine would now be written after number 10, if you see what I mean. It, even though the actual date and time order is completely irrelevant or the name, the name in, the naming convention is also completely relevant as to your actual SparkFun MP3 player. Now, uh, it will it will work at a pinch. It's um, quite time consuming. And as you can see, if you've got 47 odd files or however many you've got, then it is going to take some time to do it. And obviously, if you, as I've just mentioned, if you make one mistake, that's it. You can forget it. You have to start again. Um, the other downside with this is if you do manage to get all your files across there, say, say at a later date, if you decide to uh, change um, the Princess Leia message in my in this particular example, so 05 Leia, if um, I find a better copy of it or a different copy, or I just want to get rid of it altogether and change it out for something else, um, I can't simply just change that file. Because again, if you imagine if all of these files are copied over here, like this, uh, if I now want to change one of those slap bang in the middle somewhere, say number five and replace it with a different version, then that file will now be the last thing that was written to that card because it's the, say the, it's a real time sort of writing order as to uh, where that got written. Uh, so that means that number five now becomes number 50, whatever it actually is in terms of the uh, what the MP3 player is actually expecting. And it means all of your other files have now shuffled out by one. So nothing will work as you expect anymore. Fortunately, as I say, there is an app that will fix all of this for you. Uh, and it's something called Drive Sort. Now, what Drive Sort's expecting is uh, it's actually expecting to work with a drive. And in this case, uh, the micro SD card is a drive. I'm just going to copy all of the files onto my SD card in preparation. So as you can see, uh, these are in numerical order. If I click on name and the date modified orders all over the place, uh, the date timestamp on the files is uh, a little bit random, but completely irrelevant to what we're going to do. So go on to uh, Google or you know anywhere on the internet, look for a program called drive sort, you'll eventually find a drive sort zip file, unzip the contents of that zip file, you'll get an INI and an exe file. Now this is uh, aimed squarely at Windows people. So apologies if you're a Mac user. Um, I'm not sure if there's a equivalent Mac utility for you. But um, for Windows users, all you then do is run drivesort.exe. You can run it from any folder, so you can put it in your downloads folder or, or where your sounds are located. It's entirely up to you. It runs from anywhere. 
So now I've got drive sort open, I'm just going to make it a little larger. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to open a disk. Now notice it's saying a disk and not a folder, so it is only seeing my actual disks in my machine. And uh, what it calls disk two here happens to be my SD card. So I'm going to say OK. And you can see now it's got the contents of my micro SD card showing here in a file explorer type fashion. Whilst they look like they are pretty much uh, just as it happens in, in a pretty good order in this particular case, the next thing I need to do is to say sort current folder. Now you can you probably just spotted it did actually change a couple of things around there, but these now will be in ascending order alphanumerically. So that's fine. Now what I need to do is to save that back to the disk. So I click save current folder. You'll notice it just does it in a, a fraction of a second. In fact, you won't really even see it happen. And then finally, what I need to do is to close the disk. You'll notice that this will now close the E drive. So I've now not got my uh, E drive showing because it's effectively ejected that disk. So now I'm going to physically eject the SD card out of my laptop. Pop it back in. Uh, just wait for a moment or two whilst that comes up. And here we go. You can see all the files are here. Notice that it's not changed the date modified stamp on those files at all. But what it did do is it wrote those files, or at least it uh, it tricked the uh, computer and the SD card into thinking those files are now written onto that card in a particular order. Uh, the so that the alphanumeric again won't have changed and it really is irrelevant. But what you'll find now is that those files are written into the uh, SD card in the correct order, which means that if at a later date you wish to change one of the sounds, say you find uh, a better version of uh, the layer message, if I can now copy that across and replace it, that will have messed the order up. So I need to go back to drive sort, open the disk again. So we'll run this one more time just to show you. Say OK, sort the current folder, save the current folder, close the disk. And it's as simple as that. Notice again that the, that, the, uh, that file is now closed or that uh, disk is now closed. So I'm just going to eject it, pop it back in again. And after a couple of seconds, don't worry about the uh, problem with my disk. That's just my uh, laptop playing silly things. You'll notice now that uh, that uh, is all back there. And the, again, the date modified timestamp hasn't been touched. The names haven't been touched, but the order in which the files were written to the card is now correct. Anyway, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you've got any comments or queries, uh, you can reach me on any of the Astromech forums. I'm Baldur's on both the uh, .net and .info sites, uh, also active on the Facebook groups as well. Or you can also uh, comment on this video and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you all very soon.